Hey guys, uh, just want to make a video today to talk about my recent progress here. I know it's been, again, about a week since I've made a video. I'm not done with YouTube, I haven't forgotten about it or anything like that. It's actually just, I, uh, my last video I talked about being sick for a little while there. And I was actually sick for most of the last week still. Um, for whatever reason, I was through the main part of the cold when I made my last video, but um, it just kind of lingered for the rest of the week. Like, I didn't really have much of a voice until Sunday morning, I'd say. Like, I'd have moments where I'd have a clear voice again, and then my voice would be all, like, muffled and weird and <clears throat> super phlegmy, and even still, like, my sinuses are still a little bit messed up and stuff, so... I was just kind of taking it easy. Well, it's, my life is never really taken it easy. I'm always super busy. I know I've got a 10-year-old uh, son and my wife, and I work 50 hours a week. And so, as much as I love doing YouTube uh, and stuff like that, it's kind of, if I get too busy, it's going to probably be the first thing that goes. <laughs> you know, it's it's a hobby, right, as, uh, as anything. Like, I'm sure people aren't upset or anything like that, I don't think, for a second. But, um, anyway, last week I had finished off, uh, uh, what was it I was working on? Was it this side? I did this side, and I blacked out, uh, part of my arm here, the skull that used to be there. And, uh, this week we decided to move down to the chest, and so I did all the rose and the star on this side, and a little bit of the... the Red that was on this arm is now blacked out. I'm not gonna try and raise my arm to show that because sometimes when your sanded arm is just fresh, it's um, a little bit uh, wet and not completely stuck to the skin yet. So I like to try and take it easy with it because I want to get a full three or four days out of this. Five if I was, you know, really, really lucky. But <clears throat> even if I'm lucky, sometimes. The sanitarium's just been on for so long, and it's just so weird. By the end of three or four days, I'm just happy to get it off. You know, give the skin time to breathe. But I do like to get the first few days out of it. It does help it heal. So yeah, we just, we just blacked out the rose and uh, the star there, and it's I think it looks way better. Uh, certainly a lot cleaner. Like, there's a lot less going on up in the chest. But because of that fact you get to see the front chest piece here quite a bit clearer. Like, right now is a good time for a side-by-side -side comparison of, the, you know, the rose and the star versus just the solid black. And for my taste, the solid black looks better. And it does more to push out the chest piece, too. Like, even just in this video, you can see how forward that chest piece looks now with that solid black behind it. And for anyone that's been wondering, and lots of people have, where this black ends. Well, to be honest with you, the black is, like, in this area, is almost done. Like, this is almost where I want to be, and then just touch-ups. There's not going to be a whole lot more black added. Um, that might be to the relief of some people. <laughs> some people think I've lost my mind, as I've, I've commented on before. People have, think that I'm going crazy or something, or like, why all the black? Why, why is everything black now? <laughs> Are you losing your mind? Are you crazy? I'm like, no, it is the kind of thing that once you start, it's hard to stop. Because if you like solid tattoos like me, there's no more solid than solid black. And um, it's the kind of thing that you can just keep working with because um, the, the black is never completely saturated the first time. So you'll usually have to do like a touch up. And if you've got your black in well, it all looks so solid, like it's so saturated. That's how you know that the, the ink is in perfect. And what I'm going for isn't just a bodysuit. Like, I was talking about this at the shop today. Lots of people, they just want a bodysuit. They don't, it's like they don't even care what it is. Like, like, oh, well, my ribs are done now. Don't ever have to worry about that again. No, no. For what I'm going for, full saturation, full, like, no skin breaks, and, uh, like, no flimsy, like, half-in ink. Like, sometimes when you go one pass, the ink isn't in there completely. No, no. What I'm going for is full saturation. I want the ink in 
perfect, you know, and that's going to mean doing areas sometimes three or four times, you know, like uh, most people are scared to ever get their armpits or their um, their nipples tattooed once. I'm fixing to get my armpits tattooed for the third time on the left here, and uh, my nipples are getting tattooed again in the next few weeks too. Um, I'm going to get them tattooed for the fourth time, my nipples. Um, fully blacked out again, and then I'm probably going to uh, finally pierce them again, because way back before I had them blacked out, I had them pierced, but it's harder to tattoo. You can tattoo pierced nipples, I've seen it done, but it's a lot more complication than it's worth. So I took them out for the nipple blacking, but uh, my nipples are still a little gray for my taste, so actually probably two weeks from now, I think I'm going to be getting my nipples blacked out for the fourth time. And then once that's healed, I'm getting them pierced again. I might even get them pierced twice because uh, I would like to have uh, two sets of nipple piercings, which is complicated, but um, I would have barbells going through vertically and horizontally. Uh, I'd have to put the vertical or horizontal set farther back so that I could put, um, assuming they healed well enough, I could put the other set in, in front of them. Um, I don't have huge nipples, so it really does hinge on them healing well and not migrating at all. And uh, migration is typical in nipples. Uh, for whatever reason, when I had the line pierced, uh, the left nipple uh, didn't migrate at all, but the right one migrated just a bit on the left side of the piercing, which was very strange. <laughs> I thought it was actually rejecting, but turns out it wasn't. It was just migrating, and sometimes piercings just kind of move around a bit when they're healing. Uh, they find their comfort or whatever. Um, so anyway, kind of babbling about that. A um, little bit of a run one. Like today I was a little bit nervous because when I got my chest roses done, I actually had the, some pretty bad scars there because the artist who did them, I, I probably, I figured probably didn't, hadn't tattooed many chest pieces before and had her needle running too fast and ended up actually digging the skin up pretty good. So I had some pretty huge scabs that were really painful for a couple months. Um, so I had that kind of bit, a little bit of anxiety about that today, but obviously that's not going to happen today. Uh, you know, for one thing, nothing got lined, uh, just blacked out. Um, and my artist that's been working on me has never dug me that way. Um, so that was maybe a bit of an irrational fear attached to the past. But anyway... Um, that's quite liking the black, uh, but yeah, the blackout stuff is, other than touch-ups, which there's going to be a few rounds of, and then finishing up the other arm that I still haven't finished, like some of the red in the armpit, and, uh, there's some more red in Spawn's cloak that I'm probably going to take out. Other than that, most of my blacking out is done. I'd say probably within the month I'm going to be moving on finally, and, um, Probably going to be going to the head, darkening this up and working on the back of my head and stuff like that. Just kind of little pieces and stuff. Just tweaking with things for a while. Uh, probably going to black out my fingers soon. I've got little knuckle tattoos and, and far kind of finger tattoos. All of those I'm just going to do straight black to the fingertips. Um, but that'll be probably a month and a half, two months out. Anyway, sorry I haven't been making videos lately. I'm going to try and do better with it. I'm going to try and make another video here on Friday when probably I won't be uh, sore and, you know, bleedy because I'm a little bit too sore to really move around much here right now. But yeah, I'm probably going to try and get back on my schedule of three a week. I was doing pretty good with that for a while and, like I said, just got sick and, you know, whatever else. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go take it easy for a while and... Uh, if you're enjoying these videos, I'm Ephemeral Remy on Instagram. Follow me there too. And uh, have a great day.